So, hi. How are you doing, my friend? Are you all right? Hi, fine, fine. Yeah. Um, we did do a Thank podcast you. before, um, but my laptop um, broke and I lost all the files. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's always good. <laughs> yeah, right. but, but here we are again, and uh, I want to get, get into your story because yeah. you've been a lot of places. It's super interesting, to be fair, because you told me about it. you went to um, Brazil. Yeah, yeah, right. When I did wasn't you do that? Brazil. Um, I was training there mostly and partying, um, <laughs> um, visiting all the sites or a few of them, not all, but a few of them and having a good time. Yeah. Well, so is it, cause I, cause I don't know, this is what I've heard. I, I don't, I've not done any research or anything, but I've heard Brazil is quite a dangerous place and you shouldn't go like without like a tour guide from Brazil. <clears throat> What what's your what's your opinion on that? Uh, I think it depends on um, on the region you are traveling, and uh, with whom you're traveling. If you go alone, or how, like you say, if you have a tour guide, or uh, you have friends uh, in the places you you visit. Yeah, some places are it's like it's like everywhere. Some places are dangerous, and some places are less dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you can't really be scared about like that sort of thing because obviously, uh, unless unless it's like Syria and there's like bombs are going on and stuff like, there's always yeah. that risk, you know. Like yeah. wherever you go, there's always that risk. So, um, yeah. what made you go to Brazil in the in the first place? Then, <clears throat> like, because I've I've been reading this book, um, it's called Globe Globe Trotter. Um, yeah, I got recommend one of my friends recommended it to me, and um, have you read it? I read it, yeah, a long yeah. time ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, he talks about all the different places he visited, uh, and 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 there's so many places to to go. In, and do you think that's probably you wanted to go to the you know the motherland of of jiu jitsu? Yeah. So is that, is that um, probably the reason? It, yeah, yeah. This this was one reason. Um, and the thing was when I when I started jiu jitsu. The, the guy who, who had the school is Brazilian. I still train with him. And he started the school with his, uh, with his uh, cousin. And uh, I was always like, yeah, I want to visit these guys. All the guys, they were, were visiting from Brazil. And um, yeah, I was saying every year, I go to Brazil, I visit you guys. I come by and say hi and stay a while and train with you. and I never did it. What is what's going on like for five years or four years? I don't know. And 2015, I was like, man, fuck this. I finished my school. I, uh, I had a job, but I could take some time off. So I sold my car and I just bought a ticket and went to Brazil. Wow. Nice, bro. Nice. Well, so how, how long, how long did you, how long did you stay for bro? The first time was one month. I wanted to stay longer, but I couldn't because of my job. Um, and I was three and a half weeks in, in Manaus. Uh, it's the capital city of Amazonas. And uh, a half week I was in Rio at that point. Mm. Oh shit, so you did, did you do East Coast like pretty much? The, the whole of East yeah. Coast, then. Yeah, I was, I was uh, the whole time in in Manaus in, in the jungle. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> it was really was really hot. Yeah, yeah, and the 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 thing was, it was my first first uh, trip out outside of Europe. I never have been outside of Europe at that at that point. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so wait, where, where did you start? You started in just, Manaus. Just Manaus, and then you went yeah. to all the way to to Rio, to Rio. Later, wow! At the end, but um, yeah, all by 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 plane. I'd be interested to hear your perspective on the um, the culture over there. It's meant to be completely different. Like, obviously, you're from Germany, and I don't know what it's like in Germany in terms of jiu-jitsu, but um, where I'm from in Lincoln, like, um, it's very chilled out. Everyone's kind of like in the same. It's quite a nice chilled out uh, atmosphere, but. I've heard in Brazil that they take it very seriously and, and it's like almost like a, a culture thing. Um, so tell, tell me about that. Is it, is it, is it different, that the atmosphere 
in, in, yeah. in Brazil when you're training? Like, is it like a ritual? Because I've heard like people in Brazil, they literally, they go to work and, and the lunch break, they'll, <laughs> they'll go and roll for like an hour and then go back to work again. Yeah, some people do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you have, I mean, in here, or I don't know how, how it is in, uh, in, in, in England. But at my school, you have like two classes mostly uh, of grappling or jiu-jitsu a day. And the other classes are kickboxing, boxing and stuff. And in Brazil, you have mostly so many only jiu-jitsu gyms. And they have a lot of classes over the day from seven, uh, until, from seven in the morning until seven or ten in the evening. Yeah. Wow. So they have like breaks in between for a few hours and then I have like, I don't know, first class at seven, second class at 10, next class at uh, 2 uh, p.m., then the next one at uh, four, at six and so on, yeah. So, and there are always people to, to every, every time you can, you mm. can go and train, but uh, different, different classes like beginner yeah. classes, only blue belts, uh, only black belt, uh, only black belts, or or brown, uh, purple, brown, black classes or so. Yeah, and it's really they take it really serious. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've you heard. Have, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You have a lot. You have a lot of competitors, like mostly in every gym I went to. Mm. You have a lot of competitors, and they're super, super sharp. Really. Yeah. 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 In what way? Would you, how do you mean by that? They train all the time, man. Mm. Most of them, they, they do nothing else. They have their, their sponsors and they just train. They have more, as I say it like this, most of them, they, they don't have a lot of money, but they love jiu-jitsu yeah, yeah, yeah. deeply. Like, okay, most of us do as well. Um, but um, they they say like jujitsu is a way for them not just to 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 train but also to get free or get out mm. of the of bad situations yeah, yeah yeah right yeah do do you speak portuguese a little bit a little it's, bit it's not it's not so good anymore it was better right. <laughs> right so so people when they want to roll with you do they speak any english or how is that because obviously you're going to a completely foreign country and you're asking to yeah. to practically fight with them and you've got yeah. no kind of form of communication how, how does that work yeah it was like this the first time i went i was really speaking none no portuguese it was just like uh hello my name is and where i'm from and yeah. uh hello goodbye and all the stuff yeah so the first first thing was um was uh, I went from Germany to to Brazil, and I have had a had a stop in Fortaleza, and my flight got cancelled. And I was like, <laughs> "Man, what should I do? I can't speak the the language." And the the crazy thing is, in in most parts of Brazil, the people don't speak English, or they don't speak it good enough, and are like, "No, no, I can't speak." I don't understand you because they're like yeah. they're like embarrassed to, to speak English because it's it's like a little broken up, you know. <clears throat> so I was at the air, airport and I was just waiting for for some information to get and was like the whole time like with Google Translate <laughs> yeah. talking talking to, to one uh one ground stewardess and she was like, Oh one moment. Yeah. Then another one came. I spoke with her two, three sentences in English, and she was like, "Ah, uh, okay. Uh, one moment. Next one came, and it was like three or four people. And then, <laughs> then at one point, a fifth one was like, "Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know your situation. It's no problem. Um, we get you booked on another flight. Yeah. Just come with me." And this was like taking me three hours or so. <laughs> yeah. And I had no. I had no. Uh, nearly no no uh, internet i was in yeah. this country i i don't know yeah i've yeah. never been to before and my yeah. friend was waiting for me in manaus and he was wanted to pick me up 
and I couldn't reach him. Yeah, it was really bad. Yeah. Yeah, man. First, first trip overseas, and first, and it was all fucked up. <laughs> but don't, don't, because I've I've done a bit of traveling myself, a bit of, uh, around uh, Eastern Europe, and uh, like you, like in places like Ukraine and, and and other places like that where they don't speak English, and yeah. you have to completely. Um, you have to sh basically show your body language uh, in yeah, order yeah. to, to explain what you want. <laughs> and I was in this restaurant, and um, I was ask I was asking this um, um, the system if they had a fork. Uh, I've never realised how hard it was to to say to, to uh, uh, <laughs> enact what a fucking a fork is. Like I was going, <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's literally um, it, in a in a weird way when you're in that situation and and you have you're forced to use like. Your, your body and, and different you, th you start to think yeah. creatively and how, how am I going to communicate to this person you almost get like a, a weird uh, adrenaline rush from it did, yeah, yeah, did yeah, you yeah, get that yeah. as well yeah <laughs> I was like man I stand here and I don't don't know anything the good thing was there was a um, a mother and a daughter they were like, hey, you, you're not from here. And I was like, yeah, obviously, no. <laughs> <laughs> and so they, they let me use their internet so I could, could uh, write my friend and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. check my mails and stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, but with all the people before, it was like hands and feet, like, you know, oh, yeah, I need this and that. And yeah, they were yeah. like, oh, okay. And then I could use Google Translate later when I was in Manaus because I had, um, I had internet. And even there with Google Translate, there were so many misunderstandings. Yeah. But yeah. it was funny. It was, I, I wasn't in really dangerous uh, situations yeah. because of it or anything. It was just funny. Yeah. yeah. We laughed, yeah. we were laughing a lot. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So do you think that, because um, you said that everyone's quite sharp, like um, if, if you're starting out in Jiu Jitsu, do you think that you have to get to a certain level before you can? go over to somewhere like Brazil because obviously um, I'm still at the stage where you're um, practically being shown stuff as um, you know as, as the lesson goes on so I you know having your guard and having your attack like they're, they're two things that you had before you went over so you knew what, what was yeah. going on but yeah. for someone that's starting out do you think that you need some sort of like level of um, understanding of the game uh, to be able to to be able to go over there and 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 just roll with random people. Yeah, uh, good question. Yeah, would would be. Yeah, would be wise. Yeah. yeah. What? In yeah. what level would you say? I think blue already is fine. Some people say, "Ah, don't go before your purple belt." But I, I think when you purple. when you, yeah. Yeah. Some, wow. Yeah. No, <laughs> just just go uh, as soon as you feel ready. So yeah. if you have. If you have all the basics, uh, fine. Just go for it. Mm. Yeah, hmm. you can you can take so many stuff with you when you when you uh, when you roll over there when you are in a gym where many competitors are. Uh, unfortunately, in my gym, I I don't have a lot of competitors at the moment. So, yeah, but when you are over there, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Nearly, I. I Every school I went to, there were a lot of competitors, also high level. Yeah, I bet yeah. They, well, as you say, that that's all they do. That they they practically live for it. Yeah. So the, I'm guessing that the, the the competitions over there would be would be insane. Like, yeah. Have yeah. you have you thought about competing over there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I told you. I told you in the last podcast. Uh, actually, yeah. I wanted to start competing this year, but. The, you know, all this. Yeah, but that was stuff. that was in Germany, though, wasn't it? You you want you want. But yeah, did yeah. you did, are you thinking about going overseas and 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 you know even Brazil or, or even different different countries? To, yeah, to compete. Yeah, yeah. yeah I I thought about um, competing in Europe, uh, competing next year in uh, Lisbon at the Europeans. Okay. But sweet. just have to get back in shape. <laughs> so <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday yeah. was actually my first time rolling in two and a half months. Oh shit! Yeah. Fuck, man. T tell me about that, cause like, that's uh, <clears throat> it's unheard it was, of territory, isn't it? Like it, it was was hard, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Underground, just one on one rolls. Yeah. 
Yeah. With a bike on the yeah. And uh yeah. Crazy. So you, it was just the two of you and you kind of just yeah. yeah, but he was he was like, Yeah, I trained the whole time with somebody else. And I was like, Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, I got what, did you did you, <laughs> <laughs> did you get did he beat you? I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, he was like, he was like joking me really heavy. He got me bow and arrow and stuff, and was like, "Man, why?" And I was like, "My hips are so stiff from yeah. all this this working out, but you yeah. know, not the, yeah. you don't have the actual movement." But he he'd been rolling with other people today. Yeah, he had one guy he was yeah. rolling with, but this guy uh, can't roll at the moment. Don't know why. So he so was like it. Do you want to go? I was like, yeah, man. The whole time, I just was waiting for you to, to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think a lot of people start doing stuff like that now because the the restrictions have been lifted a little bit. So it's yeah. like, yeah, I think people will start to to go back uh, in their own in their own sort of um, in their own sort of time. It, it's kind of this this question over like. Um, <clears throat> like freedom over the the right thing you know like a lot of people are yeah. it's it like because if you think about it, it's probably not the best thing to do but like it you know that there's there's some it's come to a point where you go like well you know we need to we need to do something like we we, we this is what we live for almost yeah the, the, the thing is um uh, the thing is this um i don't think the the virus virus will go away that fast you know I think this mm. thing will stay. You know, some people say in the media, like like experts, they say it will stay t till twenty twenty four. You know, like some dates in the future, yeah. like two three years. And I'm like, yeah, man, why should I be afraid the whole time about this? Mm. Uh, when it hits me, it hits me. You know. Yeah. 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 And um, it's, um, I don't know. It's it's not going away, mate. It's yeah, it's like I don't um, think so. The, the, well, it's it's here now. It's here to stay. So I, that's yeah. what I've, that's what I've that's what I've heard anyway. Like, <clears throat> once we just need to wait for everyone to become a, immune, or I think that's the case, uh, or they need to get a vaccination so people are able to, if they yeah. they can't if their body if the body can't process it itself, then they need some vaccination to yeah. to help process it. That's the reason we're in lockdown because you know we've got to wait for, <laughs> you know we can't. Wait, have everyone on ventilators basically like yeah. it's everyone's gonna be able to come and uh, everyone needs to become immune to it because it's not as you say it's not going away it's 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 a virus yeah and you hear you hear all that that stuff you know from from different sources i have friends they work in hospitals my my mother-in-law she's working in um in an elderly home mm. and uh, oh, i man. was like and i was like do you have any any patients they have uh have corona and she was like yeah we have one station they had like uh, six patients and they had it but they're all fine but one or two mm. had a little bit of harder uh, uh harder uh, form of the virus but uh they're all fine and they're all, all around 72 to 85 or so mm. so i mean I and, but and then and then you see and I hear from friends from Brazil they say hey in Sao Paulo they have like mass graves uh, what? because so many people there yeah it's crazy mass grave uh, yeah there was um, was also a, a big report in a German uh, newspaper about this yeah what a rave a rave with masks on no 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 not a rave grave oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was like, "Oh, mask won't help it stop it spreading." Like, if you're raving. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you get all this information from the one side says this, the other side says this, and yeah. Yeah, but so, I, I think it depends. You know, where you where you live, mm, how the yeah, this yeah. system works, and all. Yeah, I, I think it, I think that's right, and I think also it's 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 where you live as well. Like I've heard different different things come from different countries, and and you know th th that's the thing with it all. It's unprecedented, so no one really knows how to deal with it uh, essentially because it's not happened for yeah. over a hundred years. So people have have all we've got all this different technology now, but we've never been faced with something um, like this before. Yeah. Um, so we we have like 
a, a go-to guideline of, of how to deal with it. So each country has their own kind of perspective on it. Um, yeah, and, and <laughs> even and even crazy. here, yeah. and even here uh, in the country, you have like the one uh, one state says, "Yeah, okay, we open everything up." The other yeah. state says, "Yeah," and from from the um, from the from the uh, the president says, for example, yeah, uh, you can do this and this and this. And uh, the next state says, yeah, no, we don't do this because this and that, you know. For example, here, uh, all restaurants are allowed to open up next week. Yeah. Yeah. But with restrictions. Oh, the next week right? for you. Yeah, the coming week. So, uh -huh. um, for example, you have to, to hold the guideline. You one one uh, table is free, the next table is seated, one table is free and stuff like this. So, but they say coffee, uh, cafes and uh, bars uh, can't open. They just can't have to go. So, they can't open. No, they can't open. And then I'm like, man, why can't they open? Uh, if you sit there and you have a cup of tea or a gin or whatever, or you eat there, there's no, there's no difference, you know? So like yeah. stuff like this, right? So, yeah, and, and yeah, and that's right. And 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 there's there's so much ambiguity, uh, and that's going to cause other yeah. people. There's going to be so many people that do um, different things. I I, I don't know. It, it's hard to call at this point, but I think yeah, as as long as you you are um, you're comfortable with yeah. with the consequences of of what could happen, I suppose and. I just see it, man. I, I just don't know how to how to go about it, you know. Like, yeah. when when do we go back to do jujitsu full time? Like, yeah, when when also... when up, you know? Because there's there's now footballers that are going back to do um, games. That there's the Borussia Dortmund game that that played, you know, like a few days ago. So yeah, like, yeah. Um, that that's pretty much the same thing. Your Brazilian jiu jitsu is a bit more full on than football, but you still get it in football. You still, you know, in in the party box, you go up for a header. You still getting in each of his faces you still yeah ready. you, you touch the ball sp everybody touch touch the ball yeah 100 so. even even picking up the ball to throw it throw the ball in like that that's, that's technically the same thing uh, as as jujitsu you're still um coming in contact with people yeah so you you know the only thing uh what's happening at the moment is uh ufc it's the only, yes. the only thing yeah. yeah and uh i don't know submission underground or so it's yeah. also yeah but there's not much i said there's not going going on a lot at the moment because uh, of all the restrictions and they they're like no you can't hold this uh, event and you can't hold it that but um i don't know i think what's the usc doing at the moment is really good you know with all the testing yeah. they have like a, a guideline how to yeah to do the ev events um yeah and that, was such a, that was such a did you watch the the, the match by the way the um the recent ufc um fight the, the last last weeks i watched last week yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um did you uh it was, it was it was such a weird it was such a weird match um because you could one? hear you could hear the all the the going on the final match you mean or all matches the the us the usc match with um with ferguson in and um that was such a that was such a weird viewing because you could hear all the coach the coaches and and you could yeah. hear every the punch and every kick like, every yeah. slap bro yeah yeah, yeah. but it was it kind was quite, of nice I I think I, I don't know man I, I thought it was, quite, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was it was a bit fucked up I felt like because you, <laughs> before you could hear like all the crowd and everything like that he's like yeah, yeah, yeah this is sick but you like, also hear like the you know all, you, all, you also hear like the when the when the when the kick comes like the uh, oh. and all that stuff yeah 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 you hear oh, the pain man. a little bit more <laughs> yeah I, I must i must admit i felt like i was i was there man i felt like i was in the cage yeah. like, fuck <laughs> so after got... after corona they they should do some of them the matches uh again you think so there's no no public just the just pay-per-view oh man <laughs> I don't, do you know what? If, if I if I was actually in one of them fights and, and the crowd wasn't there, I, I I think I would do a lot worse than if the crowd was there because 
I don't know. You get this like, adrenaline when you when you when you when people are all there, like all rooting for you. They've got money yeah. on you and stuff. You you know you've got that kind of backing behind you. When you and there's no one there, it's 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 a completely different game. You've got to you've got to be inter- internally very strong to be able to. Uh, I, I don't know. Like you're I going. think there's, you get a little bit more more um, euphoric, you know. Like you, you get a little bit more adrenaline. Your, your adrenaline rush is a little bit higher, I think, when you have all these people around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, man. And so when, because it's funny, because I've I've asked a few people when they think we're going to be back in in, in England and and that sort of thing, <laughs> and no one really has an answer. Do you, has any has anyone said anything in, in Germany? As to as to when we would be able to go to go back in and to do jiu jitsu um, and be have our classes and stuff. Um, they said. Um, can you contact, see it? Can you see it this year? Yeah, they said contact sports are. Uh, I think a lot, and I, I'm not pretty. Sh- I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think I read. Um, contact sports are a lot. Um, end of this month, again, mm-hmm. but under regulations. I don't know how what the regulations will be, um, but I think I don't think jujitsu will be one of these contact sports there a lot, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, so we we also discussed this and we have a group uh, WhatsApp group for for the gym, and there was also a lot of discussion like how we can handle this and stuff and should we build like groups like two to four people. And only these two to four people train with each other. Yeah. And um, then uh, the 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 manager of the gym and my my coach they were like, no man, that's not possible because when somebody new comes, you can't just uh, say, yeah, no, you can't train because you have no partner or stuff like this. So it's really complicated how you how you do it. You know, uh, I saw I saw in. I don't know where who was it, where was this in, in Texas I think or so a school in Texas they had at, in Dallas or so they had um, a partner role so they all had space in between and just two people were allowed to roll the whole time with each other. Right. Yeah. And they and they get tested before or they just do some sort of um, <laughs> they like, should back. Yeah, they are back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's calm. It, it's calm, bro. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Bye bye. Take your carrot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got your ba- new baby coming soon. Yeah. Um, Congratulations, bro. Different... Yeah, thank you. A- April, April, June. June. Oh, June. Mm-hmm. Wow, number two, number two. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you feel about that? Oh man, it will be so exhausting. Yeah, <laughs> but good. Really? Yeah, yeah. Shit. Well, how how old are you now? How old I am? Yeah, yeah. Thirty three. Thirty three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, kid number two. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I could do it myself, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That that all <laughs> wasn't wasn't planned. Neither oh. the, not the <laughs> first, not the second. But her, you don't mind to tell her that. But but I'm but I'm happy about it. We both. Yeah. 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 Awesome. And do you think you you um you'll teach your your children jujitsu? Pardon? Do you think you'll teach your uh, your kids jujitsu yeah, yeah. from yeah, from a, from an early from an early age? Yeah. Yeah. I already do with my with with the uh, one I. Have. <laughs> oh. How old, how, old, how old is she now? Is quite she's, is she? she's going to be two in two, <laughs> five weeks. Dude, she's going to be a maniac when she's 12. And she's got, she's got so. black, she's a black belt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would not fuck with her. In, in just starting to, uh, secondary school, she's black belt. I'm like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think it's important. When, she, when she's interested, I, I show her something. When, she's in, when she uh, shows interest, I show her. Mm-hmm. And if she wants to do ballet, ballet or boxing, or yeah. I don't know, she can't do that. Um, but when she's interested in, in jiu-jitsu, I show her. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's one of the things that I, I was never really introduced to it as as a kid. Like, um, I, I was my dad my dad taught me football when I was young, and he I I picked up jujitsu now when I'm 22. So. If yeah. if I picked up earlier on, I think I think if if you're a parent and you and you know and you teach your kids early on, you know that they've got a ma- <laughs> they've got a massive head start. I think the younger you start something, the better. You know, yeah. you, it's it's like then it it um, it sinks better in. It's yeah. like yeah, you soak it you soak it up like a sponge when you're young. Everything you soak everything in, mm. like. You, when you when you see a kid growing up, um, they they watch a lot. They try and adapt and like um, try and error the whole time. Yeah. And the older you get, the more you lose it. Yeah. You do you do a lot of um, try and error. You know, you try, you fail, you try again until it it works out. As a kid, and you you lose the ability when you get older because you, you find that yeah most people yeah well, e- e- even even at your age you, you know like because obviously you've got a decade on me so yeah. I, I don't yeah, know I was, like you've picking up new things um maybe at a younger age is de- well, I've, it's, it's scientific it's fact isn't it that you know it's easier it's easier to pick things up when you're younger yeah. but I, I don't know as you get older is, is it like a down a, I don't know. Do you try to stay on plateau for a bit and then go down, or, or what? Like, <laughs> I, I think you go. Uh, you you are more afraid of the consequences of your actions yes. sometimes, or what what could happen. You you overthink too much. It's at my. I have this, that sometimes. I don't try to get into shamer. You know, like like uh, I don't try to think like that. I I try to test things. If it don't work, it don't work, you know, like this and do it again yeah. in a different way. Give it a, another approach. And um, yeah, I, I had some like plateaus, like you said, sometimes yeah. where I was like, oh no, I don't do this because this and that. But when you just do, I think uh, it's better because you just go, you do, you do it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Or you try another approach and mostly... Yeah. The outcome is fine. You, you, you gain information from it. If you, yeah. if it works out or if it doesn't work out, sure. Viable and, information. And even even though it might be a bit harder when you when you when you get a bit older, now, you can still you can still absorb information. You can still pick things up even yeah. when you're like a lot older, like you know, in, in, into your elderly like state, like seventies, eighties. You can still learn new skills if if you yeah. put your mind to it. I feel. Yeah. Uh, it, in, in, it, I feel like once you, once you learn jujitsu, you can pretty much put your mind to anything because like it's it's probably one of the hardest things that you can that you can do on the top of my head. You know, like yeah, um, you're you're at a stage now because you're 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 brown belt. Yeah, and uh, how long how long have you actually been tra- training for? It's now ten years, a little bit ten, over ten, ten years. years. Yeah. Ten years, yeah. So, so I started around your age. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, I feel like when, you know, um, now you've had that kind of 10 years of experience of, of picking yeah. up a new skill, I feel like you put, you put your mind to most things. Do you think, what, do, do you think you're looking to find other skills now at all? And, and you kind of put your mind to things you like, oh, I want to, I want to, I want to crack this now. Cause I feel like if, if you get to your level of jujitsu, you, you've yeah. got that, you've got that intuition. You want to find new things. You want to find new interests. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't you wouldn't train for 10 years unless you had that kind of uh, that, that w- wanting to learn mindset yeah 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 no uh, when it comes to jiu-jitsu i try to to involve to learn the whole time but it under uh, other other stuff i'm sometimes like a little bit like stuck or uh, i hold myself back because i overthink stuff but when it comes to jiu-jitsu i just go I just do it. I just try. I fail. Uh, I get choked out. Didn't never get choked out, but you know, I uh, I get submitted if I do it wrong, and if I do it right, I submit like this. And uh, actually, what I do at the moment a lot 
in the future when we go back on the mat um is going back to the basics better my basics really? because yeah because i i had this thing at the beginning when i started with jiu jitsu um i had not the best basics and i worked up worked up worked up and when i was like purple belt i was like man my basic sucks and some some uh some some of my basics suck really suck big time and i have to work on that and when you work on your basics that late it's like really hard it's harder to work on them because yeah you know you you are so far yeah you, i wanted to to learn the whole time like new fancy stuff like yeah yeah this and that and that in word and uh case of the dragon and all this uh, you know what i mean yeah i know i know i know what you mean because um that's that's exactly what eli and i said he said um when you're starting off you need to uh focus on the fundamentals and, and then build off yeah. build from them you know yeah. lay lay your lay your concrete and then build steel it's like yeah. that that mindset like you need to have that foundation in place before you can start um you know branching off into different moves and different aspects yeah. do, you, do you think that's true as well yeah that's true because you know fancy doesn't always work and it it doesn't work when your basics suck you know right. can you give us like an example of that i don't know when you when you when you suck at or when you're basics at uh, spider guard or something or, or at any don't don't matter which which positioning it is suck and you have like a fancy fancy technique you learn at the moment you you are good at that technique that one technique but you suck at the basics some people will pass that uh, get easy out of that technique you know you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And that's that's why the basics are so 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 important. You have to learn right. them, and you have to even now, when I'm brown belt, I go back to the basics and I, you know, yeah, you, I, I think it's like you just um, refreshing muscle, them. Yeah, and and also it's like um, it's muscle memory as well. Like yeah. <clears throat> when um, when you go back to as opposed to when I go back, it'll be completely different because obviously we'll both go back to basics. But the, the the likelihood of me forgetting the majority of what I learned at the start of the year is quite high. Whereas to you, that you kind of ingrained it into your muscles and, and into your um, yeah. into your brain, like you've done it that many times that you, that you kind of that you know you know what to do in, in yeah. certain situations. Like it, it gets to that stage where it starts it starts to become instinctual. Yeah. Uh, I didn't understand everything <laughs> because oh, you were not? just freezing for a moment. The bit, oh, the bit star. oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, bas I basically said um, when 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 I go back as opposed to you, uh, as when you go back properly and, and start jujitsu, like it would be completely different because you have had um, years of practice, whereas I've had a few months. So it's like yeah. you've had that ingrained into your muscles and into your into your memory. You know exactly yeah. what to do in certain situations. Whereas with me, it's like it's it's almost like starting over again. You know, because yeah. I haven't had that practice, I haven't had that, you know, repetition, <laughs> I haven't, haven't put the reps in. Uh, yeah. and, it, and it's funny because, yeah. Yeah, the, the one, one mistake people, people do, and I did as well at the beginning, is they want to try too much stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. They want to learn this technique and that technique and that technique, but it doesn't work. So you, you can't learn all that stuff at, one, at once, you know? just grab your a little package try this try it when you roll yeah get good at it go to the next thing and that that's how you build you try uh at the at the rolls if you do if you suck at it you try and try and try and, yeah. try, and try you get smashed all the time at white belt you know it you're white belt so you at the beginning you get <laughs> i get tapped out every lesson yeah 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 but um, it's good yeah it's good yeah so what what most people don't do when they hire belts, they don't bring themselves in the in 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 situations where they're in danger or in trouble. And what I what I started to do a lot uh, in ex 
uh, when I, since I'm brown belt, especially, is I bring me in highly dangerous situations. Like, yeah. I gave him my bag, like letting the hooks in and stuff like that. And I try to come out. I try uh, to look that the people don't submit me, but um, that I can go come out of the position, you know, of that awful position I brought myself in. And um, that's good because you learn a lot of from that. Yeah, the other guy is like on your back. He's he has both hooks in. You let you let him, let have him. Yeah, and he's like, oh, you know, yeah, I submit you. I go to this and that. And you're like, okay, I just play and loosen yeah. up the grips, and you get better at it and better at it. It's really good. Wow, I'd be interested to see what people at your level would be like going back to jujitsu. I, I don't know. How how long would you expect? Have you taken three, uh, two to three months off before? Yeah, when I was uh, injured, it was not yeah. completely off. I was like, I had a really bad injury at my uh, hip, so my hip broke, and I don't really went to the doctor. Uh, Didn't? No, no, no. <laughs> I was at one doctor, but it wasn't my my um, my my doctor it was another yeah. doctor because mine was in holiday uh, on vacation and then um he was like no no it's nothing nothing too bad it's just something uh ripped a little bit apart but nothing is broken and i was like okay he's a doctor he has to know and what was like was like 24 so i don't know yeah, yeah i was blue belt oh so and, two years in yeah yeah and then i was like oh fuck man that's that hurts really Bad. I couldn't really walk and stuff, yeah. And then I took like one month uh, off the mat and started to to slowly build up the muscle and the movement. And then I went back to the mat. And at the beginning, I just was uh, training and rolling with really light people, like in weight and in belt, only white belts, lightweight, new yeah. people. But do you think that that's was, uh, I, I was gonna say really a good idea. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna say that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's probably a bad idea. Like, yeah, recovering with the white belt because they don't know, they don't, yeah. know, <laughs> they don't know what causes um, pain. They don't know yeah. what what because when you um, start off, especially for me, like I I, I don't know where um, you know the tension parts are of the body. You know, like yeah. It's, Say if I get into a certain someone in a certain position, I, I don't know that 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 actually that that joint isn't meant to be bent that way, you know. Yeah. Like when you get to that that level of, <laughs> like I don't know, like a few years in, you you get to understand. Oh yeah, when you start, to, you know, get a kimura and you pull it to this certain point, that's gonna really fucking hurt. Yeah, you know, I, I don't have that understanding. So yeah, I did. I did <laughs> yesterday. Was it was yes, the best to stay with a white belt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also they, they just some white belts they're like really like, yeah, I want to show I'm I'm strong. Yeah. yeah so they go uh, go in and they go in really hard, like oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had that I had that yesterday um with the with the uh the talk with the friend of mine I was rolling. And uh, because I had him in a, in a Kimura and was sweeping him, and I heard his his uh, ligaments like, <laughs> and I was like, man, I stopped and was like, man, are you hurt? And he was like, no, no, I don't feel anything. And he was like, oh, okay, now I feel it. It was like oh, an hour yeah. later, I feel it. Yeah, I yeah. I have some, I think it was light tear or something. <laughs> oh man. That could put you out of action, bro, for a few weeks. Yeah, but but he was like, yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't feel that stuff anymore because it adds up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and so the the question, going back to my my previous point, I was saying about you having um a few months out and stuff. How, did you did you find it hard to go back to to the level that you were at before, or did it take a few weeks to you to build up, or? How was the how was the process of getting back to jujitsu? Yeah, it it uh, took me a while, especially conditional. You mm. know, my condition was fucked because if you just like, for example, I couldn't 
couldn't go for runs or stuff when I when I had this injury. Uh, I couldn't do a lot of conditioning stuff. There, there was no no way to do conditioning. So when I came back, the conditioning was the hardest part because it took me like another month just to go back in the condition I was before, just to don't have one role and be like <sighs> completely out of, out of power, you know. It was not never a power thing. It was just a condition thing. I couldn't. I had had didn't have the 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 you know the breath for it. it was yeah. really crazy, man. It was like it was so it was catching my breath really fast, like the whole time, and was like, man, that's <laughs> fucked up. What what is this? Yeah. yeah, but it it came back after one month. It started to get better. Um, yeah, and also. It, at that point, from this uh, injury, it was also hip movement was a big, big problem at, at the beginning, because I was in, still in pain. Uh, it wasn't wasn't completely healed. Normally, you you need for this injury like three months or so. I told you in the last podcast because you asked me that uh, there, um, and you have to wear like a corsage for your hip so you can't move your hip yeah uh this is what my my doctor told me later uh i was like <laughs> three years or so i was uh, oh, at, at talking to him about the injury and he was like oh man you have to go to to mrt we have to check this out and then you saw the tear like straight here from the from the uh upper hip to the down to the hip completely what was it apart. was it a, was it a ligament was it or, or, or what or, what what was the actual tear where where was the tear the tear was like um on the left on the right side um like five centimeters from the from the um navel and then down like the hip was really broken completely uh, so hip was yeah. broken and the muscles who uh which go um from the from the leg into the the middle of the body i don't know the exact name but they were like damaged it's bad yeah on in and hindsight was, of that in, in, in hindsight of that then because <clears throat> did you do that by rolling do you say yeah yeah and by <laughs> I think I think it's just important because I, I know we talked about it last time, but yeah. <laughs> you could probably save someone an injury. So <laughs> to save someone uh, from getting the same injury, yeah. if you're yeah, I, if you're starting I, I, off, I wasn't <laughs> warming up properly. I was um, working right. long longer, and then I came to class, and they already rolled, and I just jumped in without uh, warming up. Yeah, and uh, had a I was a heavy guy at that time. I was like weighing nearly 100 kilo and my opponent was weighing also 100 kilo we were like in a 50 50 per, uh, positioning and um i had my leg on his um on his side of the of the belly yeah like this yeah to go for an sorry to go for an uh leg lock and straight leg lock and when i started to go back he was like going up and pushing my knee down without thinking and it was like back oh. and it was over i never felt that kind of, of pain ever it was so so horrible it was like my leg was falling down to the ground and i couldn't <laughs> move it yeah it was really 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 oh, bah. yeah so always so, warm up always and warm even if it's it. not and even if it's just five minutes just get your body warm and you know right. the muscles warm and everything and anything else to, to mitigate to, to mitigate risk? Would you say um, look any kind of stretching or anything like that yeah. before and after? Yeah, um, just warm up before and stretching. I would re recommend stretching of, of your of your body. Everything when you when you when you roll when you train jujitsu, you are the whole time like this, like rounded shoulders up to the front. You know, a lot of grabbing, a lot of um, pulling. So just stretch everything out, stretch your um, your abs and everything. Do some some kind of yoga routine or so after after training. Yeah, yeah. 
That's it, bro. That's, before, that's fantastic. Before training, you can do a little bit like, a, or you can do it also when you don't train, uh, like mobility exercises, or something like that. Just movement. Yeah, I think that's wise. Because I, 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 I don't, well, I'm going to definitely start doing it. Since, since I talked to you about it the last time, um, you know, obviously I haven't been training since then, but, bef- you know, that I've taken that on board for sure. Like, because it's not worth it, man. Like five minutes before you roll and that's it. And then, you, and then you've got, you know, and then, then you're ready to, 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 do, to do what you need to do. Like, it introduces you. So, like, five minutes and it saves you, you know, the chance of getting injured and being yeah, out for three months. Yeah. So, it's, in the scale yeah. of things, it's nothing. <clears throat> also, don't, don't uh, when, you, when you're at a gym and you roll, um, don't try to be uh, egoistic, you know, like, uh, mm-hmm. or, or having a too big e- ego. Yeah. A lot of people, they don't want to tap because, no, I don't tap. I'm the strong guy, man. What, you know, that kind of thing. So they, 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 they don't tap. They rather get injured before they tap. That's stupid. I also have one or two guys at, at the gym and they're high, higher belts and they never tap. Man, I say, <laughs> I, I hear your, your, your elbow crumble and you say, oh. <laughs> And you say, don't, don't tell me how, when to tap. That's crazy, man. Fair play to them, though, if, they, if, that's, the, if that's the case. Like, <laughs> you yeah, them, yeah. If they're not tapping, like, they're not tapping. Yeah, you have only one body, man. And that's, that's the only, yeah. only body. You, you don't get a second one. So if something is, something is uh, you know, is kaput, it's yeah. kaput. You, you, learn to, you learn to respect it more when you, when you get it injured, though, don't you? Like, <laughs> when you... When you when you can do anything, you feel invincible. And then suddenly something happens, like a, a hip injury, and you, and you're out for three months. Like fuck. Like yeah. if only I did this. Like you, you need to put it in perspective. Like you, you look look you're lucky to to change jiu-jitsu at the end of the day. Like you've got to you got to think of it that way. Yeah, and and you know that uh, the thing is, these guys and girls, they are your teammates. And when you roll with them, you 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 are supposed to roll hard. Okay. But you also have to to pay attention to their bodies and to you know how they react because you yeah. don't want to injure, injure your, op- your 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 partner when you are yeah. in a fight and and you you go for the kill yeah uh, you want to submit this person there's there's yeah. no no problem with that but when you with your teammates or when you're in another school visiting. You don't want to hurt these people. This is just stupid. For sure. Because for sure. We are we are all there to have mostly fun, yeah, and want to <laughs> learn and want to grow. But when you're injured, you can't grow the same way like when you roll, you know, because um, then you have to take time off the mat and all that stuff, and that's just devastating. Then. That's it, bro. That's it. So I, I wanted to talk about. Um, because I, I posted a, a post on Instagram, uh, yes, it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, about have you travelled um, just just to train jujitsu, um, and if so, where? Obviously, you've been in Brazil, and I, I was wondering because because you um, you mentioned you met um, Flo, um, Flo Yoga. Uh, yeah, 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 I travelled with him in 2016. That's it crazy, my... man. He's 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 absolutely smashing it now, isn't he? Yeah, he was. He's my. Uh, he was my main training partner. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was, um, when I was purple that... and blue, I was on. Uh, when I was, when he was blue and I was uh, purple, we started training together. Wow! Like, like every day, uh, we met in mo- mornings at seven, six o'clock in the gym. Um, is he from? Is he from same place? Um, Stock Stogart as, as well as you. Yeah, he he's from a little bit outside the town, but yeah, he he was living here for forever, and then he wow. moved to to California, and uh, yeah, now he is in Thailand. Thailand, yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant! So, <clears throat> yeah, that, that's that's one of the best things about it. Like you can you can meet people like like him and. It, and now he's, if, if, for those of you that are watching, you can type in Flow Yoga and, and see um, his yoga routines. And, and he, you know, he's, yeah. he's doing really well now, isn't he? So Yeah, yeah. yeah he, I'm, he also, I'm actually hoping to get him on the podcast. Um, yeah, so, try yeah, it. Try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I mentioned I mentioned yourself, so um, if you put in a good word, hopefully I can yeah. uh, get him on and get have, have a conversation with. Him. Yeah, ask him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I will. But yeah, that's the best thing about it. You meet meet so many cool people. He, he's living his he's living his best life now. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny because he was um, when he started uh, yeah. jujitsu. He was like I think he was weighing a hundred kilo or so. He was a bodybuilder guy. And he was really stiff. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. That's really right. and, and I talked to him because he's, he's pretty good. He's really slick at, uh, in, when you roll with him. Um, and through the whole yoga thing, he has a really good understanding of the body. And he moves really, really um, smooth. He's, he's like glue. He's like sticking to you already sometimes yeah yeah, it's, yeah it's like a different kind of rolling he has a good good body movement it's really nice to roll with that, him. and that shows that yoga can massively help you then yeah yeah i yeah. mean i'm not i'm i'm really extremely stiff and when I, I i try to stretch as often as possible but he does it he does it every day multiple times so yeah it's really smooth and he don't really needs to lift weights or stuff he just do does a lot of yoga yeah so he's actually he uh, showed me or sent me um i think last week um one of his new videos he that uh, he was like doing a class one and a half uh, hours of just movement for jiu-jitsu so you that you can go back to the mat um and still be in good jiu-jitsu shape brilliant listen man like your story it's really cool and uh, I hope I hope people enjoy it uh, and I appreciate you bro thank, thank you for coming on yeah thank you thank you I hope this no this time doesn't the, the, the podcast doesn't, doesn't get lost <laughs> well if, if it doesn't bro then I don't know what I don't know, I don't know what to do <laughs> yeah but uh, man, well, I enjoy I enjoy the stuff you do it's really nice thank you man appreciate it appreciate it but I appreciate you com commenting on posts and, and uh and for those for those who um, want to check out Andreas, um, it, what's your what's your what's your tag on Instagram? My handle is uh, Roland Chitero. It's Roland with just the N, no G, uh -huh. uh, under uh, under uh, square, and then um, Chitero. Awesome. And yeah. is there I any other you way? Also, you also will tag me in the. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll put I'll put it down in the show notes anyway. But. Um, yeah. What is there any other ways to use any any other um, social media or um, I, best to I contact just, you for Instagram? Yeah, just Instagram at the moment. Yeah, yeah, more awesome. to come hopefully. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm I'm looking forward to it, bro. Like um, you said that you, I can see you posting a lot more and stuff. So um, yeah, yeah, you, you, I'm sure you can bring a lot of value to people who who yeah. want who want to start jujitsu and and also you know want to to explore different you know um, avenues like going to germany and that, and that sort of thing so yeah yeah man i think it's good but um yeah man awesome awesome to talk to you and yeah uh, it was awesome, too. awesome brother you have a good day man you too see you take care